my mindset towards all fights is there is no plan B because I don't I don't really have a, another goal except fighting and like when when I sign to fight an opponent I'm 100% coming to win you know if if I have the plan B mindset then I'll never I'll never be that hungry you know and I've always had a plan B mindset because since a young age you know I um, started Muay Thai when I was six years old I started competing professional when I was 13 and by the time I was 16 I I left high school and I decided to become a full-time Muay Thai fighter and ever since there I just knew that you know there is no plan B now so I was like this is your life and you just have to go go to it like give it your all you know and also my mom um, moving to Thailand in the beginning it was uh, quite hard for us because um, my mom we use my mom's savings to at the beginning to move to Thailand so it's kind of you know, it's in the back of my mind, you know, I want to repay my mom back some days. So there, there is no plan B. I'm, I'm always coming to win and I'm willing to give it my, my all each fight. Um, just being in Thailand for, you know, such a long period of time, you know, and especially I've been blessed to be a part of this legendary gym, Pei Pe Indi. Um, you know, I've just met a lot of them too now and just hearing the stories about how they used to train and their mindset is very different, you know. Um, I feel this generation, there's too many distractions and it was just a whole, they're just a different breed because back then they just fought like gladiators, let's say, you know, they trained like gladiators, they fought like gladiators and just, they inspire me too much because they're just, they're just so tough. Like I've never met any people like that in my life as the golden era of Muay Thai fighters. Now, now my fights are, you know, the, my next fights, they're all really big fights and they all really mean a lot to me. So when, I'm, when I train for these kind of fights, I'm actually constantly in the zone because, you know, I've been waiting for this moment for so long, you know. As I said, I started when I was six years old and now I'm finally at the peak of Muay Thai. So before every training, I just, I just kind of like switch everything off and just sit alone for 10 minutes you know you know uh, we can call it meditating i just sit alone in my mind and i just remind remind myself you know what i'm doing here you know um, i'm gonna go down and give my 100 percent in training and every day i'm one step closer to the goal so i just constantly re remind myself you know what it took to get to get to this point where i'm at where i am i i never forget you know my loved ones or, or anyone so just i'm just focused you know very focused on on succeeding so um, Muay Thai with the smaller gloves, um, it's a different game. Um, well, to me it is a big difference because um, I had to become more fast, I had to become more sharp. So we do a lot of reflex training, we do a lot of movement and um, to be honest, I don't want to sound cocky but I'm born for this. I'm, I adapt really easy and just with my, my great coach Ajahn Wat, you know, we just look at videos together we just we just we just work hard you know that's our secret ingredient is just hard work um so you know when, when especially me i moved from you know europe to asia um everything's completely different you know the mentality you know the food and all that first first advice i would give is come with an open mindset come and just understand the thai culture understand how things work here and just you know, you're coming here from Muay Thai, respect the sport, respect where you are and just work hard. And the Thais, the Thais love when you have a big heart. They love when, when you're working hard. They, there's no jealousy here, there's no ego here. So this is the place where I've, I've grown up to be who I am now. So my mom, my mom's my biggest, like she's my best friend and my mother at the same time. I love her a lot because we just have a good relationship. I'm, um, I never hide anything from my mom. My mom knows oh, everything I do in my life, you know, and the reason is, is because she's a friend. She's, she's been a friend, friend of mine forever, you know. We, when I was 11 years old, I told my mom, like, Mom, you know, I really like Muay Thai. I want to be a Muay Thai fighter when I grow up. And my mom told me one thing, you know, if you want to be a fighter, just make sure you train hard and I'll support you. If you're working hard, I'll always be beside you. And she never lied, like, 
ever since I've been putting in the work, my mom's been my constant push behind me. She, she believed in me since day one, so me winning my next fight, you know, I just can't wait to like tell my mom, you know, mom, we did it, you know, we came to Thailand and we fought on the best fighters and we did it, mom. Um, Ajahn Wat, when, when, I first, when I first met Ajahn Wat, I knew right away, like, me and him were born. I don't know, I just felt it was a unique bond, you know, I felt really good around him. I, I fell in love with the sport again, like, when I first moved to Thailand, everything was really new to me, like, the training was hard, I had to, I had to double up everything, I was not used to this, you know, this environment, and then when I went to John Watt, John Watt, I don't know, he, we just connected and bonded really quick, and he taught me everything in Muay Thai, he taught me how the scoring works, he just, he just taught me everything and we bonded up so much that I can't, I can't take on any fights without him, you know, he's my, he's my backbone in Muay Thai, you know, he, the days when I'm, when I can't function, Ajahn Watt's there and, you know, when I know he's there and he says, come on, Salas, we have to get the work done, you know, he pushes me to my limits and I never want to let him down either, so Ajahn Watt is a big, big part of my success. Yeah, so, as I said, you know, at the moment, that I don't look any more farther than Rob Tang, you know, I, I just can't see past that. I just, as I said, there's no plan B. Um, I'm focused on Rob Tang now, I want to be Rob Tang and then I'll take it from there. If That's why I said I don't have a plan B coming into my next fight and every fight that I take. So when I win Rob Tang, I'll know what's next. At the moment, you know, um, Same, Same Gai Handao, you know, um, when I first moved to Pechindi, he was here training and then, you know, he got sent to Singapore. And now he's back and having him around me just, you know, I, I look up to Zame. He's, he, he's done everything in the sport. He's humble, you know, no ego, absolutely no ego in, in him, you know. He's only focused on helping his family and yeah, I love, I love Zame, you know, he's a brother. And for this fight too, you know, he's been guiding me, teaching me everything. So. I look up to Sammy. A lot of fighters um, want to want to do this and all that. So first advice I would tell everyone is just like, when when you decide you want to be a fighter, like for real, just have it in you. And if you feel this is what you want to do, then just dedicate your life to it. You know, I'm I'm human, just like you. I've don't the only thing I do is just work hard and stay disciplined. And those that's the only ingredients to success. So just show up every day and in training and I'm a, I guarantee you're gonna make it. So don't don't listen to any doubters, you know, like a lot of people told me many stuff in my career, you know, a lot of people told me, you know, it's what you're doing is not correct and all that. I never listen to anyone. I just always listen to my gut instinct. I really believe in my gut instinct. So go ahead, follow your dream guys and listen to your gut instincts. And it's gonna lead you to big, big stuff in your life. A lot of questions I get if, how do I train so hard? Um, I'll answer that because I get that, I get that question asked a lot, how do I train so hard? And you know, this is the only thing I want to do and making it to the top has been my dream since forever. Everyone who knows me since I was younger, I've only dreamed of one thing and that's making it to the top of the top. So when you want something, so bad, you know, you don't, you can't sleep at night. I can't, I can't live in normal society knowing I haven't accomplished my dreams. I don't function as a human being normally, you know, I, ever, even when I'm out having fun at the back of my mind, there's this little voice telling me like, oh, Samas, you know, you have to get, you're, you're, you're enjoying now, you know, you can't enjoy, you have to be training, you know, you, when you make it, you can enjoy. So there's just this voice in my mind, I, I can't stop, I'm addicted. And I won't stop till I make it, so that's it. I'm just, I'm, I'm obsessed. If that's the word we ought to use, I'm obsessed with it. And I can't stop till I make it. So, yeah, so, you know, it all start, starts with, like, I, I won, I, my, my, when I was younger, my first goal was to fight in Bangkok's major stadiums. And then I did it, I accomplished it. Then I wanted to win a, a world title in Thailand at Lumpini. And I won my first world title, no, actually, my second world title the WBC world title at Lumpini Stadium by knockout round four. 
and then you know you always just set bigger goals and bigger goals and bigger goals and I, I want to I wanna be able to reach the very top of the top just just you know one thing I want to one reason I want to do is just also like it, it can be done you know I've I've wanted to do this since a young age and I just I just I truly believe it you know with hard work and discipline you're gonna make it you know um, a lot of people want something and they, they don't really chase it every day or they chase it and then they do something else I haven't been doing anything else my whole life I'm 23 years old now and started when I was six for real I started fighting when I was nine years old since nine years old I've been on a roll like eat sleep train fight eat sleep train fight and I haven't stopped and this is where it took me in my life you know so I'm gonna continue and you know the sky's the limit and to be honest the sky's not even the limit you know there's a whole universe out there so I don't know what's gonna come I'm I'm just dreaming big and I'm I'm thinking outside of the box.